Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of Harry Potter Theory. In today's video, we're going to be discussing Boggarts and famed dark wizard captor Alistair Mad-Eye Moody. More specifically, I'm going to be addressing a question that a lot of you have asked me, which is, can Alistair Mad-Eye Moody see the true form of a Boggart with his magical eye? Interesting facts about Boggarts that I bet you didn't know, they exist in our own Muggle world and in the magical Harry Potter world. However, while they share the same name, they are a little different. In our own Muggle world, Boggarts are creatures from folklore that come in two forms, a household spirit or a malevolent creature that inhabits places like fields and marshes. The household Boggart does harmless but mischievous things like making things disappear. The more sinister, malevolent Boggart that resides in marshlands is associated with darker behaviour and is known for doing things like abducting children. These Boggarts also go by many other names, including but not limited to Bugbears, Bogeymen and Bogles. In Harry Potter, on the other hand, Boggarts are essentially the manifestation of our deepest, darkest fears. They are amortal, shape-shifting non-beings that transform themselves into whatever it is that we fear most. Supposedly, no one knows what a Boggart looks like, and that's because generally, they transform as soon as you encounter them. From the moment you lay your eyes on them, they have transformed into your deepest, darkest fear. When Boggarts aren't scaring people, they can usually be found rustling around in confined spaces or lurking around dark corners. Similar to poltergeists, which have an affinity for mischief, and Dementors, which thrive on darkness and depression, Boggarts are paired with fear. Another frightening fact about Boggarts is that when they transform into something, they adopt the properties of that thing, i.e. when a Boggart transforms into a Dementor, it's able to do all of the horrible things that a Dementor can. The Boggart's power, however, will be much less potent than the original being. If you fear several things equally, then a Boggart will manifest itself in the form of each of your fears, cycling through them for maximum emotional scarring. The best way to defend against a Boggart is Ridiculous, aka the Boggart Banishing Charm, which makes the Boggart look, well, ridiculous. Apparently, the best way to face a Boggart is to bring someone along with you, as it will struggle when trying to decide which form to take. Two people means two sets of fears, and unless you both fear the same thing, the Boggart will have a tough time. Often, the result of multiple people facing a Boggart is a combination of their fears, which often comes across as silly rather than scary. It's also worth mentioning that a Boggart's ability to shapeshift can sometimes be subject to limitations, i.e. when a Boggart transforms into something, it's limited by the size of the room that it inhabits. Furthermore, because of Voldemort's looming presence in the wizarding world, it just so happened that he was what most people feared most, and so, for this reason, he was most people's Boggart. However, the question remains, what does a Boggart actually look like? Are we sure that no one can see a Boggart's real form? We know that Boggarts hide in dark places, and these dark places can include enclosures like chests. Assuming a Boggart is inside a chest, and you were to approach said chest, the Boggart would not transform because you aren't face to face with it. So, technically, technically, this should mean that if you are somehow able to look through the chest, you should be able to see the true form of a Boggart, right? Can anyone do this? In comes Mad-Eye Moody. Alistair Mad-Eye Moody was a Scottish pure-blood wizard born into the Moody family, a family known for producing a plethora of amazingly talented auras. In his youth, he attended Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, and later on in his life and career, true to his family name, went on to become one of the most famous and respected auras of all time. Auras are of course members of an elite and highly trained unit of magical law enforcement. They work for the Department of Magical Law Enforcement in the Ministry of Magic, and are trained to investigate dark crimes and detain dark witches and wizards. Becoming an Aura is certainly no easy feat, and given that Moody was arguably the most famous Aura to have ever lived, I'm sure he was nothing short of exceptional. Moody played a pivotal role during both the First and Second Wizarding Wars, but during the First, he had the most impact, as he dove fully into protecting the Wizarding world. 
Fighting against the forces of darkness, Moody ended up losing an eye, a leg, and part of his nose. In an effort to piece himself back together, Moody found artificial replacements for his limbs. What this meant was that his eye was eventually replaced with a new, magical eye. While Moody certainly sported a very jarring physical appearance overall, his most notable physical characteristic was his eyes. One was small, dark, and otherwise normal, while the other was a huge, electric blue, magical eye that moved around entirely independently from his normal eye. This is how Moody got the nickname Mad Eye. The new eye that Moody received, however, functioned as much more than his original eye. You see, Moody's magical eye had the ability to see through things that a regular eye couldn't, things like invisibility cloaks, walls, etc. He could even see through the back of his own head. This brings us back to Boggarts. In the Order of the Phoenix, when they're at Sirius's house, Moody is asked to check if there is a Boggart in one of the rooms upstairs, to which he confirms that there is indeed a Boggart. We've been wanting to ask you for ages. Could you have a look in the writing desk in the drawing room and tell us what's inside it? We haven't wanted to open it just in case it's something really nasty. No problem, Molly. Moody's electric blue eye swiveled upward and stared fixedly through the ceiling of the kitchen. Drawing room, he growled as the pupil contracted. Desk in the corner? Yeah, I see it. Yeah, it's a boggart. Want me to go up and get rid of it, Molly? Now, it's long been professed that no one knows what the true form of a boggart looks like, but if Moody was able to look through the chest without the boggart knowing, then presumably Moody was able to see the boggart in its regular form. So, did he? This is up for some debate. First things first, based on Lupin's logic when explaining the properties of boggarts to students, Moody very well should be able to see its true form. So the Boggart sitting in the darkness within has not yet assumed a form. He does not yet know what will frighten the person on the other side of the door. Nobody knows what a Boggart looks like when he is alone, but when I let him out, he will immediately become whatever each of us most fears. We can assume that the Boggart was in its natural form because he hadn't yet been presented with anyone to scare. Therefore, yes, Moody saw it. However, J.K. Rowling herself has expressed that no one actually knows what the true form looks like, so what Moody saw is totally up to our own interpretation. They are strange creatures, and I think that rather than seeing a physical form, giving the Boggart a natural appearance, Moody simply saw a presence of some kind, maybe even just heat. It's hard to say, and that's because Boggarts aren't even alive. They're non-beings. They're generated entirely by human emotions, much like poltergeists. Which leads me to believe that though Moody identified the creature as a Boggart, it doesn't necessarily mean that he knows what a Boggart looks like. Does that make sense? I hope so. What do you guys think? Could Moody see the true, natural form of a Boggart? Let me know in the comment section below. Until next time, your Wizard Ari.